Hey guys, what's up? It is your friendly neighborhood. Ubigoose here back again with another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth video. We're doing a breaking run. Um, there's your seed. We're starting with Quad Shot. It's pretty cool. I like this item. I haven't got to mess around with it much with the, the synergies in Afterbirth yet. Um, it's one of the more rare cool like synergy items that I've, I've seen. So uh, hopefully we get something sweet. I'm honestly more more than anything else. I'm just hoping that we get um, as many multi-shot effects as possible. Cause I have yet to become the the multi-shot machine, the the pure fucking I don't know cannon of of tears per shot. And I want to become that. It sounds really fun. Uh, uh, ooh. Damn it. So, there's one thing I want to talk about um, that I thought about before uh, before I start recording. Um, so, you know how I was talking about the Dota 2 patch that happened, 6.86, and how exciting and interesting it was? Well, I would just like to toss out there that uh, there has now been yet another minor patch to, to slightly shift the balance. Um, because this is what Ice Frog does. He, he has a lot of crazy shit that happens in the main patch, and then he puts in micro patches to uh, ensure that people are playing the patch the way he envisioned it, I, I guess is the best way to put it. This is really good. Oh my god, this could be good. It's pretty good. I am gonna grab this. Bombs are key. I don't like that. I really don't like that at all. I'll blow this up though. Sloth. Alright, um... But now we're at 686C, and it's interesting. And the reason that I say it's interesting is because Ice Frog continues to buff one fucking hero, and that's OD. And I don't know if you remember this. Yeah, I, I should have just taken the Bolotar. So I don't know if you remember this, but when the patch notes came out, and I was talking about them in in this Isaac vid, in these videos, um, I was like, "Od seems insane, right? That guy just seems imba as fuck, right? Shit seems retarded. He's gonna be the cancer of the patch." Well, it turns out nobody's been playing him, and Reddit's been all up in arms about how. Ice Frog randomly nerfed a hero who didn't need to be nerfed. I couldn't disagree more. I think Ice Frog buffed the fuck out of OD, even with the first patch. But that's okay. Not everybody has the same ideas of balance. But here's the thing. So before OD, uh, the way he works is he steals intelligence, and your the main stats, they affect you based on uh, what hero you are, what kind of hero you are. Um, int heroes get damage from int. Right, it, it basically, the main thing is just, you get damage from your primary stat, and then all of the stats basically are the same aside from that. And so, um, OD is really good against int heroes in the mid lane because he steals intelligence temporarily. And so, the 686 patch what it did to OD that made me think he was buffed like crazy was that they shifted his his int steal from his imprisonment which puts people in a space hole basically removes them from the game for a few seconds and then uh, brings them back into reality and it used to steal in now it just deals damage um, now they have it on his Q 
cue, which is just, uh, it, it's just an orb. It's, it amplifies his auto attack, uh, as long as it's on. And, um, and now that steals int, right? And it does bonus damage based on how much mana he's, he has left. And it, obviously, as you steal int, you get more mana. And so, eh, sure. Uh, and so, yeah, basically, like, I thought OD was broken immediately when it was, it, it would steal int, uh, based on the level. So, level one would steal zero int, level two would steal one int. So, it would be, it was zero, one, two, three, right? So, you stole three int per attack once you had it to level four. So, as early as you are level seven. Right? That sounds pretty good, right? Well, uh, in 686B, he got buffed. Um, so then it was, instead of 0, 1, 2, 3, it was 1, 2, 3, 4. And I was like, oh god, this hero is ridiculous. And then, <laughs> now here in uh, 686C, it got buffed again. And now, now it's fucking, uh, two, three, four, five. Which is insane to me. Like, it just sounds insane. Uh, oof. What's the play here? So this is, this is weird. I think I'm gonna blow open both of these. Infest it. So I know, yeah, I know these bombs are key. And I don't know what to do with it. I want to keep a lot of bombs. But I don't want to use my last key on this shop. I'm going to do it, though. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll take this. And I'll take this. And then I'm going to leave. And I'm taking the battery because there's a non-zero chance that the deal with the double stays open. It didn't. It's okay. I can survive. But... Yeah, so now OD steals at level fucking one. He can steal two int per hit, right? And you might be like, well, I don't know what, you know, I don't have a basis for understanding of, of why that's broken. So let me explain this for you. The average hero begins the game with probably around 20 int. Most people would have around 20 base int, some less, some more. But 20 int sounds like a pretty reasonable base line. I'm gonna pop this now. Um, no thanks. Sure. So now, and here's here's the biggest issue, right? This is the reason that people were saying that it wasn't nearly as broken as I'm trying to make it seem. Uh, OD's orb is the highest mana cost orb in the game where it, it, I believe it costs, let me, let me think, I want to say it costs 100 mana, uh, and to put it into perspective, one int gives you 13 mana, and unlike health, heroes don't have base mana, your mana is fully based off of your int, you can't go below one int, this is the lowest mana that you can have is 13. Um, so to put that in perspective, the, the first level orb, and this is where it actually gets really interesting. This is where I think there's a lot of depth and it makes it really fascinating. If you're stealing two int per attack, right? And the way that you when you gain or lose stats in... Uh, it, it depends on a few things, but when you gain stats, it's pretty consistent in Dota, the way it works. And basically, the way it works is it... <sighs> Let me hear it. Sorry. Uh, this is horrifying, actually. Um, okay. I feel good. Not great, but good. Sorry, I need to focus. This room sucks. 
All right, I feel a lot better. Um, so whenever you whenever you gain a stat, right? Dota is pretty consistent about the way this works. You will gain that amount of max stat. So, for example, th this is just for strength and int, right? Or, well, I guess health and mana, which strength and int both affect your health and mana. Anyway. Um, so, if you gain int, if you gain mana, what will happen is you'll gain the maximum mana onto your mana pool, but your fuck you, but your percent mana will stay the same. So, for example, let's let's do this uh, the easiest way I can think. Let's just say you have a hundred mana, right? And let's in this in this circumstance, let's just say that uh, each int gives you ten mana, because that's way fucking easier. So if int gives you 10 mana, each point of int gives you 10 mana, and you have 100 mana, and you're gonna spend, fuck, if you're gonna spend 20 mana to gain one int, right, um, damn, if you're gonna spend 20 mana to gain one int, right, you're not gonna end at 90 mana, okay? Instead, you're going to end at 88 mana. And the reason that that is, is because you're spending 20 mana, right? You go down to 80, okay? And you're about to, you're, you're gaining 1 int, so that means you're gaining 10 mana. So you're going to go to 110, fuck. <laughs> you're going to go to 110 max mana, right? Because you were at 100 and then you gained 1 int. And, uh... But then you're gonna stay at 80% of that, right? Which happens to be 88, not 90. And so, fuck! I've taken dumb damage, and I can't prevent it. This is actually really upsetting, the fucking dumb damage I'm taking. That was fucking bullshit, is what that was, and I don't appreciate that. Um. And so, yeah, it, it basically, it creates this really interesting thing. And that's just, you know, simple math to make it easier to comprehend. Um, the actual math is, like, really fucking crazy. So, OD spends 100 mana to gain 26 maximum, right? So, he's never gaining, and this is at level 1, right? He's never gaining 26 mana to use... Uh, uh, when he's level one, like you, you can't do it because no matter what, you're gonna be less than max mana when you actually gain the int. So you're never actually gonna gain the full amount of int as usable mana. You just gain it in your mana pool. But that's where Od's other ability comes in, where whenever you cast a spell, you you have a chance to trigger his. Uh, I think it's called Essence Aura. That sounds right. You have a tra chance to trigger Essence Aura. I'm not gonna commit too hard, just probably four. It's not bad. You have a chance to trigger Essence Aura, and the chance increases as you level it up. And uh, it's pretty good. Basically, Essence Aura gives you back a percentage of your max mana pool whenever it triggers. And it's, it's an aura, so it affects all of your allies. Uh, they have a lower chance than you, if I recall correctly. I believe you have like a 40% or something, while allies have a scalable up to like 25? Something like that. I don't quite remember. It also passively gives you uh, an increased max mana pool. Um, but it's interesting, because it happens on cast and not on spell actually hitting, right? So, what that means is now, when you start to assemble the pieces, you'll understand that basically what happens when OD casts an orb is a shit fuckload of math. That you can't really do. I don't know, a person can't really do that math that fast. 
I mean, maybe they could. It'd be kind of insane, I think. But you have to basically, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. But the gist is you need to get quite a few levels in OD before you can actually use his orb off cooldown. And by off cooldown, I mean constantly because it has no cooldown. So it's it's interesting. The hero is very interesting. There's a lot of a lot of nuance to the hero, and I think that's why most people on Reddit didn't understand that he was already broken. And like the the weirdest thing is his win rate and pick rate both went up like about two percent uh, after the first patch, and then they went up about another one percent after 686B when they first, I guess, rebuffed his bullshit. So, I don't know. I feel like the hero was pretty good in all iterations. I'm gonna need you to stop it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I, I need it to end. I also need you to just zap your fucking angel fetuses. Can you do that for me? No. Ugh. This sucks. This sucks. This is stupid. I think it would have gone better if I focused the angel fetuses. I should have done that. I don't know why I didn't. But yeah, Odie's a very fascinating hero. I, I really like him. I like his design a lot. A lot of people dislike his design. These are both pretty good. A lot of people aren't huge fans of Odie's design. Uh, simply because they think it's annoying that he's such a hard counter to, uh, to int heroes. And I can see that perspective. I can definitely sympathize with it at least slightly what the fuck what yeah okay that's what it was okay I think I have my bearings a lot of people dislike OD because he's like the no fun hero but I think he's really cool yeah he can be pretty fucking no fun um, that's for sure I mean if you pick OD against like I don't know Who's who's an int hero who's kind of like squishy in the or not not like a bully in the mid lane? Most <laughs> invoker kind of gets shit on by OD. I don't know. I think it's okay, and the reason I think it's okay is because heroes like Nyx assassin exist, and Nyx is the the counter to OD. Cause Nyx isn't an int hero. But he preys on int heroes really hard. So he's like the, the counter counter. Or just the straight counter. He's pretty good at just countering int heroes. In the same way that OD counters them. So, I don't know. It's hard to say. The, the thing about Dota that makes it so hard to really pinpoint... For pretty much anything, like regardless of what you're talking about, it's really hard to pinpoint in Dota. Uh, it's because there's so many counters. It's because it's a it's a game that's involved all the way down to the drafts, you know. Well, that's it. Well, shit. All right. Could have sworn there was one more branching path. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so it's it's very the game is very much about picks, how the picks fit together and stuff like that. And like you know, you're probably saying but Uber Goose, all MOBAs are like that. All MOBAs the picks matter a lot. I would disagree. I'd say the majority of picking phase in League of Legends is simply who can get the OP hero that doesn't get banned. Sorry, OP champion. Who doesn't get banned. It's much less about how the picks fit together because most of the champions are super homogenized to basically 
the the specific champ you're picking within a roll, let's say you're picking a mid champ. The specific mid champ you pick matters so fucking little in the long run. Yeah, it matters. The specific gameplay obviously is going to be different, but in the grand scheme of things, the difference between and here's here's where my not full understanding of the current League of Legends meta is going to it's going to hurt me in this discussion, but you know, let's say the fucking difference between Ari and uh, Victor is going to be so fucking null, you know? I don't know if Ari is still picked. I sure hope not. I never understood why Ari got picked anyway. She was probably the weakest mid hero champion thing. Fucking whatever. Like, in the, in the meta right where it was Victor and Fizz were pretty new right Ari had been around a bit uh, she was broken in the very first patch that she came out and then she got nerfed and then I was like okay she's shit I played her she didn't deal damage she really didn't have CC whatever she's shit I've concluded she's shit on my own. This is horseshit, and you know it. There's no, there's no fucking way to avoid damage in that room except for luck, and I hate that. Um, but yeah, I, I was, I reached the conclusion that Ari was shit. Most pros didn't even pick Ari for a bit, and then out of nowhere, Ari was just like suddenly being picked again. Serpent's Kiss is awesome, and I don't get it. I, I never understood why Ari just suddenly got picked again when nothing buffed her, nothing changed at all. Everybody had concluded that she was shit, more or less. And then it was just like, ah, Ari. Ah, tits, I guess. I don't know. What other reason do you have to pick Ari? Fuck you. So Serpent's Kiss is fucking crazy, by the way. I don't know if you can see this shit. Let's use the sword. The sword! I shouldn't pick up the coins. This is me being dumb. It's alright though. I'm always, I'm always dumb. But yeah, like the specific champ you pick matters so little compared to in Dota. And it's not my Dota biases, I promise. I felt that way before I even started playing Dota. Fuck you. I always felt that the specific picks mattered so little in League, and that the only reason that you'd pick a certain champ over another champ in a role is that your player in that role is better at that champ. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sold. Yeah, no, sure. Looks good. There's only depths one, so we're okay. There's a coin here. Do we think? I would like to get this reroll. Well, I think no matter what, I'm getting this reroll, right? Maybe not literally no matter what, but I feel like there's such a low chance of me not getting this reroll um, without picking up a battery. Team, I'm not getting a reroll. The dream is dead. Cox. That's actually fucking butts, man. Whatever. That's really upsetting. I guess technically I shouldn't have picked it up. Because you can get... Now you can get more than just Krampus to... Give you a charge in the deal with the devil. Yeah, yeah, okay. I shouldn't have picked it up. I mean... I guess my... My hesitation... Or my, yeah, my hesitation with the idea of not picking it up and just hoping to get, like, you know, just one of the, a little, a little, uh, devil fetus or whatever. Or, you know, could also be a deal with the angel. 
Which I guess I can get. Uh, I definitely dropped another one. Sorry. Uh, this would also give me a charge, but whatever. You know what? I ain't even mad, alright? I'm Okay, I'm mad about that one. These suck. <laughs> I could have, like, okay. I did say these suck and then I took them. I understand how weird that seems. But listen. Also, let's just do that. Um, I think they're fine. I don't know. I, I want flight, so I don't really want to, you know, just throw away the, the chance to get flight. You know? That's just, that's it. I like flight. I think it's good. So here's the trick. You ready for this? Here's the trick. Ah! Ah! Saw that? Were we being tricksy little hobbitses? There's more health lying around, so yeah. Let's go deep, dude. Uh, I'll go two more. Little chub's not good enough. Those suck ass as well. Alright. Maybe the dream is dead. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I guess I can just hard commit. It's weird because I don't really want to. It doesn't feel right, but... I could hard commit. I do have Laz Lazarus's rags. It's spooky. It's certainly spooky. I think I'm going to commit this one. The dream is real. So now we'll shoot seven per burst. That's fucking red. Is that seven? That is seven. Okay. My counting was was embarrassing. I'll, I'll admit. I'll buy this. That's fine. Okay. Kind of wish Krampus gave me a lump of coal. But that's okay. We can still get lump of coal without Krampus. It, it is now a deal with the devil item. How do I... Like that? There we go. So weird. Dink! Alright, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a gigantic fan of this. Mostly because my fucking... Look at my tier rate, dude. I didn't expect my tier rate to ever be this good. With multi-shot effects. I can see forever. So, it feels like the... Triple shot didn't actually affect my tier rate in any way. Which is weird. I feel like it should've. No. No. Actually, you know what? Gimp Gimpy's probably good. I can see a good amount of situations where Gimpy is worthwhile. Reminder, you can leave the room. I didn't really have an option to leave the room on that. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah. So we have Old Bandage Gimpy, which makes this really good. And I went for the coins instead of the uh, other guy. Mostly because I wanted to just dump as many coins into this guy as possible and maintain some coins. Oh, sh shit nugget. The sun. The sun. Alright, let's just dump health into this guy now. Shit, dude, you're you're fucking lapping that shit up. Speed up's great. You're just consuming all of this health, dude. What are you gonna do with it? Two hearts? Two diamonds! That's pretty good.
You're taking so much health from me, Brochacho. I really wish that you... Holy shit, I did it. Shit. Shit! I fucked up! It's a mess. Alright, it's fine. I feel good. Huh? That's a lot of red hearts. Okay. If you... Oh, shit, yeah. Mm, this one's not that good, but shit, yeah. Damn it. Alright. This, this feels right. This feels okay. Uh, cool. Don't, I didn't need those. That was dumb. Compass sounds great. Key sounds good. Battery sounds like I'll be buying it. Cow goes moo. Oh, shit. Didn't expect you to explode. Alright. This run just feels good as fuck right now. Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay, what do we got? I haven't gone to my item room, right? Oh no, did I? Shit, I think I did, maybe. I'm gonna check. I, I'm forgetting. And I don't know why. I don't know how. Wait. Oh, fuck. Now I'm just getting all kinds of confused. Okay, I did go in my item room. Okay. It was... Gimpy, that's right. And we've been to our shop. Alright, we're good then. Fucking god damn it. Alright? Fuck, man. Sh shit. Sax. Okay. Give me Polaroid. Oh my god. Well, how do I say no to both? That charge time is insane, but I am shooting seven brimstone shots. I think I'll be okay. Um, I think I think it's left. Yeah, I want to say it's this way. Yep. I was correct, Munda. I feel good. See you later, blast a bitch. All right. Mr. Dolly seems pretty good. Yeah, fuck this floor. <laughs> Nothing I care about there. Down. It's not a hundred percent down, but it's like. 99% down. I feel pretty fucking good. I appear to have been wrong. Whoops. Alright. It's fine. <sighs> this is powerful. I'm sorry, Envy. I'm not actually sorry because you're Envy, but like, you know. I felt kind of bad, maybe. Whoa. Uh, it's a butt penny. Yeah, I don't want that. I feel pretty good about this run. Shocking, I know. But Uber Goose, why would you feel good about this run? You're barely dealing damage. I know. 
I just, I can't explain it. I just have a good feeling, you know? Okay. We have one guppy item so far, so let's grab that and reroll. The dream is dead. It's alright. I didn't actually want to become guppy B baka. Alright. Is that am I doing alright? Your health is depleted. <laughs> Unsure how you were not dead. I mean it's obviously just that the, the shared health bars are buggy with overkills. Like that's clearly it, but I don't like it. <laughs> it upsets me. Like, I get it, right? I understand why it happens, but I, I hate it. Like, look at that. I did fucking four-fifths of the total health bar hitting one dude. Probably not even that much, like two-thirds, maybe. I wasn't really paying the most attention to the health. I was just like, eh. Took more health or more damage than it can. Okay, it's fine. Bleh. This is so fucking cool. The only way that this could be cooler is if I had uh, Spoonbender. Which is always the item that I want. I'm also upset because I have Continuum, but it's not. it doesn't work apparently with Brimstone. Which is really sad. I didn't necessarily expect it to, because obviously the entire screen would turn red and that might be a little bit too good, but I hoped, you know? I had a strong hope. Oh, that wasn't fully charged. Weird. I'm not getting lockups. Picked up a lot of money in this run. Haven't gotten a lot of lockups. Shit's weird. Oh my god. Sure. Woo! Answer. Now we just re roll until we get something insane. Right? Let me just check. <laughs> Wait, are we not getting seven to. I each side, if not, then we're only getting four. I want my fucking money back, game. No, wait, that was five. Wait. 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 We're getting five to the top, but four to the bottom. Unless, unless my eyes are deceiving me. Which is possible. They could be deceiving me. You know what, I'm going to take this because it's going to look sweet as hell. Whoops. That wasn't smart. Hit. Oh my god! We in there like swimwear. This is so cool! This is so cool! I'm actually so happy, dude. So, I just want rubber cement. Can you do that for me? Oh, blue spider. Yeah, I don't want that shit. Okay, let's go one time. I should have used a bomb. I need to keep. I need to remember that I need to use bombs. How many syringes do I have? As far as I understand, I have one, so I'm not gonna take that. Uh, 
Holy mantle is pretty good, but I need rubber cement or spoon bender. No exception. No thanks. Damn it. What the heck? Huh. There's got to be something good eventually, right? I deserve something good. Really. I don't approve of this game. Alright. You're making me do this. Wow. Wow! I have seen every bad item. Gah. Wow! Alright, now here's the spooky shit. Any one hit will kill me until Dark Bomb gives me a payout. Thank you, Dark Bomb. Hey, there's a lockup. Thank you, Senor Dark Bum, for your incredible patronage. I'll take Virgo. I think that's fine. I think it's a pretty good item. Let's see what we got. Please be good. But it's a wheel of fortune. That's actually pretty good. What room do I want to ditch that in? I don't know, probably that one. I've been re-rolling. I don't think it actually makes a difference, but... Um... Shit. Oh my god. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, so I have six hearts. It'll take me one and a half to get my first re-roll. My, my, well, my first extra re-roll, I guess. My second re-roll. Well, I can't say no to money equals power. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna move along for now. Turns out money equals power is a bit too good to pass up. Shocking, I know. All right, we're gonna just hope and pray that there's enough rooms left, and I believe there should be, based on the location of the boss fight. So far, that feels pretty accurate. Sure. Pop up. Thank you. Cool. Oh, this is a dead end. I would have thought that it would have uh, reconnected up at the top. It's weird. It's weird. Kind of weird. A little weird. Alright. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're trying it. Interesting. Okay, so here's the smart play. And you might be like, what the fuck? And it's just, all that does is it saves me a half heart in the long run. That's it. Virgo, I hate you. That is all. That was what I was afraid of when picking up Virgo. Fuck. Weird that it doesn't flash, though. It's supposed to flash. Like, when it's wearing out. Like, it doesn't flash at all, it's just gonna go out... now. There. <laughs> like, it didn't flash, I don't know. It's not predictable anymore. I don't know what happened. Stop! You know that you know what is predictable. Every time that I actually like, pretty much every like third time. Hey, we do have kidney stone. That's weird. 
Don't know how that works. Let's just not. Game, you're doing this to me. I blame you for this. This is actually insane. Fuck it. I give up. You win. I've lied. You haven't won. You shan't beat me today. Whoops. I need this. Fuck! Oh, shit. I'll reroll one more time. No, you know what? Two more times. How would that even hurt? If I'm going one more, there's no reason not to go the the final one. Fuck you. All right, let's just not get hit. That's the that's just it. That's the dream. Don't get hit. Fuck. All right, I feel good. Slightly terrified, yes. Good though, absolutely. I shouldn't have even picked those up. That's it? You asshole. Fuck. Whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You're dead or something. Uh, you didn't get one bursted. Horse shit. Horse shit. Whatever. That was a cool run. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the good shit, and I'll see you guys back again later today with the daily run. Uh, oh, good god. This ran pretty long. I don't know if this is going to be up in time. I s I'm sorry if it's not. There's the, we're, It's a Zazel, though, for the daily, so look forward to that. And uh, I'll see you guys later.